Okay, this is Man of Server Boy UK. Today we um, just quickly walk through how to send an email with Telnet. Say I want to um, send email from. Oh wait, why is it frozen? Ah, back up. Say I want to send an email. Sorry, from um, this. This is one of my server to um, from this email address. So it's three car dot com to to fm eighteen is email. So um, I quick I'll quickly do it. Uh, first, I need to know the MTA of um, Gmail. So I do and it's look up for for day if you like just. Old time I use and slow up um, MX to Gmail. So I copy them. The first one is oh, uh, the best one is Gmail dash. So I would do Gmail dash typo. That's the one. Okay. So actually, either one, uh, any one of those, I guess, do the job. Port 25, the SMTP port. So I would say I am blah blah blah, doesn't matter. Alright, then mail from you have to use the angle bracket. Um, in the past, I remember I don't have to do it, but I guess Google has um, the RFC implemented well um, that's a good thing and then we sit to that's the one notice that my this machine that I'm working on is uh, marked as one of the MX of uh, the sender's domain so the SPF record is proper and in that sense Gmail would uh, you know would not put in the spam that much Tool. Then comes to my header. Uh, at this part, you know, you will read the RFC. You could actually put um, your own header or even a different email address. It doesn't really matter, as the envelope up there, the two lines are key. Other, other than that, this could be spoofed. So hence, SMTP is no very secure protocol unless you encrypt your email, or you do um, this modern authentication thing, I don't know, TLS, um, whatever, DKIM, yeah, DKIM. To what do I want to do? You, you don't really have to fill in all the time. So the lines that end with a dark. That's part of the protocol. So it's no magic here. Then it said OK, that's accepted. And I create. That's it. And on my left side of the screen, I already have this. So this is test two. This is now the email I sent. All right. So it's just a quick demonstration. I guess it, you can find all this online. It's no big deal. But the key of these things are uh, first question you will ask: Why you want to do this? Um, then my answer is: Why you don't want to do this? If you don't do this when you want to test uh, your SMTP connection to certain MTA you could you, you need to do a mail or write your own mailer use your own mail client use a local MTA that sort of thing and then those are indirect meaning you have to have control of those resources and um, it's perhaps the simplest way to test something or, or send something directly uh, just with a tablet command and um, then the second question is how uh, why is it done like that uh, tell that it's just one way of doing it it's just anything they could open a TCP stream to an MTA with at port 25 which is open to public that it needs to receive email then as long as your your stream your data stream TCP section is um, a whole bunch of text line conforming to the RFC for SMTP, then it will work. 
It doesn't have to be SMTP2. It could be I as I wrote a program in Python to do a similar thing. It could do the same like that. And then you could also do um, curl uh, auto any you know anything. Um, but tell is just simply handy for me. And finally, if you are asking. Um, could you send something more complicated like HTML or with an attachment? You don't want to do that. If you if you do that, you could of course uh, encode your your binary attachment and and conform to everything. But you have a lot of typing. Um, that's not the point of this exercise. This is I use it most of the time to test, as I said, a uh, SMTP connection troubleshooting email sending to like if you administer a email server you there are times you want to test uh, just the connection is it all right um, then that's the time when you um, when you do it so is it looks simple right and the command that you need to remember is not too complicated um, so I suggest you try it out and yeah that's something easy to do right so that's it for today and thank you for listening cheers bye